Modern-day research opportunities are broad and varied, with access to more resources and information than ever. We make new discoveries at a rapidly increasing rate. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be jumping into some discoveries that you may not have made note of, with some spanning the cosmos and others being right in someone's back garden. Mysterious Spacecraft Orbiting Earth For over 700 days, an unidentified object referred to as X-37B has been orbiting Earth and the US military air force appears to have information regarding this item. Some have begun to refer to the spacecraft as a space plane. X-37B is the fifth space plane mission, called OTV-5. This spacecraft has no crew, is solar-powered, and, most puzzling, seems to be a military product. OTV was launched in September 2017, aided by the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the company established by Elon Musk. OTV-5 has continued to thrive for longer than prior models, surpassing 717 days. The X-37B military spacecraft continues to orbit the Earth with no signs of returning in the near future. X-37B does not resemble the spacecraft typically used by NASA, the American Space Exploration Team, and instead has been confirmed to be under the control of the US military air force. Whilst there are similarities between the object and NASA's spacecrafts, notable differences led to many people speculating that the craft was not one of NASA's prior to military confirmation. The lack of answers to people questioning why this craft has been orbiting Earth has led to a series of conspiracy theories that appear to keep on growing. One of these, perhaps the simplest to wrap your head around, and therefore the theory gaining the most momentum, is that the mysterious spacecraft is a military drone, deployed by the US Air Force to spy upon the public. Editor of Spaceflight, Dr. David Baker, spoke to BBC News in 2012 referring to the event as space-to-space -space surveillance, and that his assumption and belief was that the X-37B may be used to maintain a close watch on China's nascent space station. This theory was refuted by many critics who said that the orbital path of the craft made the likelihood of spying specifically upon China unlikely, leading to the theory being dismissed. Another popular theory surrounds the creation of M-Drive, an engine that does not need any fuel in order to function. This, as of yet, is a hypothetical creation. In theory, microwaves within a conical chamber move around, bouncing off surfaces. The M-Drive theory claims that this movement of these microwaves within the chamber makes a thrust, which propels the engine. This would make space travel more widely accessible, as it would be cheaper and more efficient due to the lack of fuel required. This would in turn facilitate more space exploration, answering and uncovering more mysteries and secrets we are yet to consider in our universe. Whilst M-Drive is considered to be an enticing theory, that is all it is. The M-Drive is not considered plausible or likely to become a reality. Newton's third law, every action has an equal opposite reaction, is flaunted in this theory. The lack of fuel means nothing is emitted from the engine. While the M-Drive claims to be able to achieve this, there is no evidence and so it is often dismissed as an explanation. The US Air Force offered cryptic and vague responses to the demanding questions given to them. They described X-37B and OTV-5 to be an experimental test project to illustrate technologies for a reliable, reusable and unmanned space test platform for the US Air Force. This answer failed to provide the depth many people were hoping to receive regarding the missions, of which there have been five. The US Air Force has often been considered to have answered the questions surrounding the spacecraft's purpose in an indirect manner, by filling the remainder of their explanation with technical vocabulary that left readers puzzled and none the wiser. What is flying around our planet as we speak? Do you think a fuel-free form of space travel has been developed? Or do you think that the US government is spying on Earth. Great White Mysteriously Vanished from Satellites Shark researchers have been diligently working for years to dispel shark prejudices largely attributed to media such as Jaws and Shark Week. 
Sharks are actually incredibly predictable beasts that have been swimming in our midst since ancient times. They are creatures of habit who frequent the same feeding grounds, are incredibly sensitive to temperature changes in their environment and follow the same migratory patterns every year, meaning that they are always among us but are rarely seen as they adhere closely to their predictable routines. Scientists hoped that by tracking and publicizing the movements of the more stereotyped members of the species, they could help to fix the reputation of sharks in the public eye. One shark was Catherine, who was one of the largest great white sharks in the North Atlantic at over 4 meters long and well over 1,000 kilograms at the time she was tagged with the GPS satellite on August 20, 2013. Her whereabouts being constantly broadcast to the public as she cruised the coasts of Florida made her an instant celebrity. At one point, she even had a Twitter account with 61,000 avid followers and fans all along the coast hoping to catch sight of her as she passed. She truly appeared to be the ambassador that researchers had hoped for, as the public delighted in sightings of Catherine and followed her live stream tracking updates carefully. However, Tragedy struck when, on May 12, 2019, Catherine's location was pinged off the South Carolina coast and then there was satellite silence, leaving her fans to wonder what had become of the massive great white shark. The satellite only pings when the shark's dorsal fin breaks the surface and great whites can go months without ever seeing the light of day, yet months passed and there was still no sign of beloved Catherine. Until, amazingly, Almost a year later, at the end of March, a faint ping reached satellites off the coast of Virginia. Believing it to be a ghost ping, researchers disregarded it until April, when three pings within quick succession proved without a doubt that Catherine was indeed back and believed to be bigger than ever. Since she was not a full-grown adult at the time of her disappearance, researchers estimate that Catherine will likely put on around 450 kilograms. One thing that is less certain is where exactly Catherine went during her extended hiatus. One theory blames the interruption on biofouling, an accumulation of algae, mussels and other aquatic detritus that could have blocked the signal on the antennae and only recently worked its way free. However, if this were the case, the battery on her tracker was only supposed to last five years and it is still pinging satellites after seven so it is somewhat amazing that we were even able to hear from Catherine again. Regardless of how she managed to disappear, researchers are happy to see her again, and as great white sharks can live up to 75 years, hoping we can follow her movements and learn more about the habits of these ocean predators for many years to come. There's life in one of the hottest and most contaminated places on Earth. What do you get when you combine boiling water, high salt content, acidic heavy metals, and a pH of zero? The Dalol Geothermal Area Known for its vast, color-changing pools and strange, stalagmite-like formations, the Dalol Geothermal Area is beautiful and deadly. And despite the harsh environment, scientists have recently discovered that it may contain and sustain some form of life. Life can even be found in the most dismal conditions. The Dalol geothermal area is located in Ethiopia and is sometimes referred to as hell on earth. The organisms that live in these conditions are called nanohaloarchaea and they can be found in other environments with extremely high salt content. Scientists recently discovered them on rock samples taken from the area, but why did scientists even go looking for life in the Dalol geothermal area? The answer lies in the age-old question, is there really life on Mars? The conditions of the Dalol geothermal area are abysmal, but scientists believe that because they were able to find life in such abysmal conditions, that they may be able to better locate life on Mars. First, they needed to find out what kind of organisms thrive in these types of conditions. This lets the scientists know exactly what kind of technology they need to use in order to detect the specific life forms. Now that they know the nanohaloarchia can be found, they have a better understanding of what exact type of detection equipment to use when combing through the planet Mars. Now that scientists have a better understanding of the kind of organisms that are present in harsh conditions and what kind of technological equipment they need to use to find them, 
they can send a rover with the correct equipment to search around Mars. The DeLong geothermal area is not a new formation, so why have we not studied it before now? The field lies in a politically unstable region of Ethiopia and is not safe to travel to until recently. One question that researchers have is, does it hold the key to unlocking the secret of sustaining life on Mars? One day soon, scientists may know the answer, but the discovery and accessibility of the Delol geothermal area is crucial to answering some of science's oldest questions. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.